Hi, my name is Jason from Soil of the Land, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made a kitchen table. But first, let's take out our old kitchen table and bring in this new kitchen table made of oak and maple wood. But first, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about our old kitchen table. Now, this is the table that we built when we first moved here, before we were doing YouTube. Our budget when we moved here was pretty much zero. So we need a kitchen table. And so this was some scrap wood that I had. It's made of plywood. So four years later, it's time to make a real table. For the base of this table, I'm using oak. And these are oak four by fours that I had just laying around here uh, that I'm milling down uh, to create legs and a base for this table. The top of this table is gonna be made out of maple. And this maple's from Asheville Hardware. Uh, where I pick up most of my lumber from. The top of this table is going to be about 30 inches by 50 inches. I'm going to make this tabletop in separate pieces. So half of it I'm going to glue up and then I'm going to glue up the other half separately. And then after both of them are glued and dried, I'm going to join the two together in the middle uh, to create the tabletop. As I'm smashing this together, you can see that there's like daylight, you know, like there's a gap all the way down. So that tells me I need to mill this down even further on the edges and use a joiner for that. Now I'm just using glue and clamps to put this together. You can use dowels, but I'll show you what I'm using later on in the video. After both pieces were dry, I took them over to my friend's Todd's furniture shop and used his drum sander to flatten out both pieces. After sanding both pieces down, I needed to join the two pieces together and Todd and the Atomic crew, they gave me a little crash course on this Festool Domino. I've never used this Domino before, but it's essentially like using dowels and the dowels are super strong, made of oak. And this Domino drills a hole or a slot inside the wood and then you stick the domino in there and then you join the two pieces together. After I dominoed all the slots, I glued it up and clamped the two pieces together. Now this maple wood that I'm using is really heavy and sturdy and it ended up being almost an inch and a half thick. Todd and Megan, they own this furniture shop and they also own Atomic Furnishing and Design, uh, the same shop where we have our shop space, our so the land shop space at. And he was just super kind to let me use some of his tools because honestly, I don't have the bigger tools to make this table. Now, after it was all glued together, I needed to sand some more. And so I stuck it on the sander again and this sander is open-ended. As I'm pushing it through the drum sander, I can flip it over and do the other side to create a flat surface. Now this is a track saw to square up the sides. And then I use the orbital sander to kind of finish it off. And I sanded it down to about 320 grit to give it a super smooth finish. For the legs and base of this table, I'm using the domino tool. And by using this tool, I should not have to use any screws. And here's Todd helping me out with it, making sure everything's lined up. Now, after
after I dominoed all the pieces together, uh, we needed to clamp everything in which we glued all the pieces and we used a bunch of clamps to clamp it all together and hold it in place. And the next day everything was dry and then I took a sander to it to finish it off. Woo! All right, that's been a beast of a build so far. Uh, we're almost done with it. Uh, now we gotta take it home. After I took it home, I put the top on. I used some corner brackets to install the top onto the base. Now because this is a kitchen table, we wanted the top surface to be as natural finish as possible. I decided to use this Rubio Mono Coat, which I've used before, and it's just really easy to put on. It's an all natural oil. I'll leave a link down to this finish I used down in the show notes. Overall, I love how this turned out. I like how it's just very simple, basic build. So this is a huge upgrade for us in our kitchen as we continue to live our daily life and this table should last us forever. What I learned from this build was that, one, I definitely need a bigger shop. My little shed that I have here is just not cutting it for bigger stuff like this. I also learned how to use a new tool, which is a Festool Domino, which I've always wanted to use one of those, so huge thank you to Todd and the Atomic Furnishing crew for uh, helping me out with that. And I'll leave a link down in the show notes of the Atomic Furnishing website so you guys can check out all the furniture that they're doing. But this is something that I've been wanting to do for the last four years. Finally getting it done, but I appreciate you guys watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time.